If you are a JavaScript developer who only knows how to create Next.js apps and deploy them to Vercel, I got bad news for you. Companies are cutting costs and they are looking for engineers who can do more than just copy-paste AI-generated code. To get a well-paid job, you need to stand out from the crowd and do something remarkable. Fortunately, there is one skill which is extremely overlooked by other developers out there and you can easily use it to generate six-figure income. In the next couple of minutes, you will learn what's the skill that companies are desperately looking for, what tools do you need to learn to stand out, how to take advantage of the skill using your favorite programming language, even if it is JavaScript. Before we dive in, let me give you some background about myself to see if you can relate to my situation. My name is really hard to pronounce, so just call me Matt. And like many of you, I never had opportunity to work for the Funk company or any other Silicon Valley startup. But here's the thing, it doesn't matter anymore. While everyone is chasing those impossible to get jobs at funk companies, I discovered something way more interesting that is approachable for most of us. There is a massive demand for specific skill that majority of developers don't have. And I used this skill to build my career in Dubai, but I've seen developers across Europe, South America, or even Asia taking advantage of it. Before we dive into the topic, we need to define what does it even mean to make six-figure salary. In this video, we are going to target salaries of 100,000 US dollars per year. It means $8,333 per month. And before you say it's impossible to do in my country, stay with me. While 100k might be unattainable in your countries, the pattern I'm going to show you will work regardless of your location. So you might not end up hitting 100k, but securing 20% of salary bump. Sounds good, isn't it? And let me prove it to you with a real data. We are going to focus on Polish tech job market because of three reasons. Polish companies are transparent about the salaries, so all job offers have them posted around so you can cross-check how much you will earn if you apply for this position and get a job. You will see the salary band, basically. Second, Poland isn't as rich as Western countries like Germany or the UK, so the salaries are inflated by high costs of living. And the last reason, I can cross-check the data with my friends because I'm Polish. I think that's fair. So now we are looking at the most popular job board in Poland. They said they are number one job board for tech industry in Europe, but I think it's a bit exaggerated. And I'm filtering for JavaScript roles uh, by the highest salary uh, in the currency USD. So, I mean, all the salaries will be converted to USD because it's like the most popular currency and the salaries are expressed in monthly rates. So it's not annual salary, it's a monthly salary. So as you can see, the first uh, role is not really the JavaScript role because it's a tech lead uh, manager and it, they pay 13 to 17,000. So we can cut off this role, but later we have already between eight to 13,000. And there are like, you can get fairly decent money as a senior um, JavaScript engineer. But if you scroll like further down somewhere, like let's say in between, you will, quickly find out that JavaScript developers make between 4,000 to seven, maybe 8,000 US dollars. It's not bad, but it's still far away from 100K, I would say, for majority of cases. Now let me change this job to DevOps, to just to show you something. The whenever you change into DevOps, the salaries get a bit higher, right? You can see that there's like no outliers, like 13, 17,000, but in general, you have a lot of jobs between seven to 10,000 K per month. Uh, I mean, in US dollars, so it's not as bad. And if you even scroll further down, you will find out that even a lot of positions are actually paying around this 8,000 $333. So it's actually quite attainable to get this 100K. You might say DevOps is harder than coding because it requires advanced networking and Linux commands. But here's what most developers don't understand. You don't need to become a full-time DevOps engineer to take a bite of this cake. You only need to master one specific skill that those companies are desperately looking for. And look how silly it is. While everybody is arguing about the most important features of Next.js, 
there are companies out there who are only thinking how they can hire somebody to take care of some of DevOps tasks. Have you ever wondered what makes DevOps engineers so valuable? I can already tell you it's not about the sophisticated skill set or advanced networking, because it isn't really harder than coding. I would say the level is about the same. What makes them more valuable and force companies to pay premium because there is no talent on the market. So it's really hard to fill those positions. So companies need to compete with salaries. And here is a good news for developers like you and me. Like everything else in tech, cloud administration also got easier over time. Today we can manage our cloud deployments using our favorite programming languages like JavaScript, Python, Java, Golang, you name it. Kubernetes experience is no longer required. Just look at this code. Looks familiar. It is JavaScript. And by the way, I'm using NeoVim. The code you see isn't another React component or API endpoint. It's infrastructure as code written in JavaScript. It is responsible for configuring services in the AWS cloud. As you can see, it doesn't have any sophisticated network setup nor Linux command. Very simple JavaScript code, just passing the variables all around. The code you just saw is AWS CDK, which stands for Cloud Development Kit. Amazon created CDK to empower developers like us to take our applications into our own hands and enable us to also run them, not only build them. So we don't need to hand it over to DevOps department, just let's manage it on our own. Now we can write configuration of our application using JavaScript and deploy it to the cloud. If you are using Node, it can be trivialized to installing CDK on your local machine by typing npm-g aws-cdk. And the best thing is, Amazon goes an extra mile to deliver us a single command experience we know from Next.js. To create a CDK project, we just need to type CDK in it and everything will be configured for us. We only need to define the services we want to connect together. Nothing more than that. Now, I would like to show you how this infrastructure as code looks like, but here is the thing. Let's be honest, you are here to learn the concepts rather than pause the video over the 20 seconds to rewrite the code after me. So let's make a deal. I'm going to walk you through the deployment process right now. And later on, you will find a link to the code in the descriptions so you can digest it on your own. If anything isn't clear, don't worry. Just write the command under this video and I will help you out. Now let me walk you through a simple example that will teach you how to deploy your first application to AWS. I made a basic Node.js application that only displays hello world. Nothing fancy, but good enough to understand AWS deployments. Instead of building using standard servers such as Fastify or Express.js, I decided to convert into Lambda function. Lambda functions are tiny serverless services that handle all the backend administration for us. Think of it this way, someone calls your API and AWS creates a tiny virtual machine that is just created to fulfill this request. Whenever the request is done, this virtual machine disappears. So you don't need to pay for overconsumption. It's you only pay for the time you are processing data. The first 1 million requests per month are for free, so it won't cost your kidney to try it out. And don't let term lambda functions scare you. It only takes 10 lines of codes to set it up using CDK. Also, CDK deployments are so easy. Once you install CDK on your local machine and configure your AWS credentials, it takes only one command to deploy your application to production. The deployment will be completed within one or two minutes. Super fast. Once it's done, CDK will return the URL of your new API so you can try it out in your browser. And as you can see, we didn't even need any secret DevOps knowledge to set it up. Everything was smooth and easy. You just learn how you can deploy your first application to AWS cloud using code. But here is the thing. Your application probably isn't a simple Lambda function, but it requires more services such as databases, file storage, or any other things. And that's why you need to learn about seven, the most essential Amazon services that every developer needs to know. And that's why you're supposed to watch this video to find out what those services are and how they fit into your application landscape. 